morning everyone we're starting our day here just over the border into the u.s so yes we did make it made it over the border and that was the goal. I wanted to get all the way to Minot, but with my tires going on me yesterday, getting them replaced, it just took up too much of the day. I was so tired by the time I got here. Just pulled in here, went to bed. We can get the rest done today. We're ready, let's go. Trailer brakes work, trailer's attached, and trailer brakes release. Fantastic. North Dakota. Beautiful North Dakota. It's a nice state. It's a nice neighbor. Nice and quiet. Though they make me a little nervous with their uh, stockpile of nukes that they have like, all around us here. I'm driving through like the, the, the biggest stockpile of nuclear weapons on the planet right now. I don't know exactly where they are, no one does, but they're, you know, they're in silos around North Dakota, right along the Canadian border, of course. Of course, yeah, you gotta put them right next door to me, right? So, in the event of like a, a big conflict, this whole area would be lit up to try to neutralize those weapons, right? And all of that fallout and stuff would go right over my house. And so, in the event of a nuclear war, you know, yours truly will be one of the first victims. Let's hope that never happens. Let's talk about something else. As for these new drive tires on my truck, they're tires. I'm a little torn on them though, a little bit, because they're not the tires I chose. I went through an account, uh, which only, it's a Goodyear account, right? So I had to get Goodyear's, and the only tires they had available were these G182s, which is like a regional, uh, pretty heavy duty tire, a little bit pricey. Because I wasn't gonna replace my drive tires until next fall. I still have pretty good tread on my Firestones. But these Goodyears do have a really good tread pattern. They have really good traction. For the kind of work that I do in wintertime, going through the deep snow and stuff, it would be beautiful, perfect. And in summertime, you've seen me, sometimes I deliver onto farmer's fields, out, onto the, like, out into the mud a little bit. These tires would also be good for that. But one way or another, I have to make a decision because there's no way I'm running with mismatching tires for very long. This is embarrassing. People are gonna start noticing. 
when I stop. I mean, hey, that guy's got two different tires than the rest of them. I don't want that. Maybe they won't be saying that, but I'll be saying that. Every time I see Old Blue, I'll be like, oh, you got mismatching shoes. I'm sorry, that, that's terrible. You gotta have matching shoes. Flying J, I need to get some juice. I have a quick shower while I'm here as well. Wait, it's not this entrance, it's the next entrance. Oh, there's a bit of a lineup for fuel. Goody. Then once we're done here, we're gonna sneak on over to Blue Beacon, get this truck a proper wash. this guy's waiting in the line back here there's pumps that are open do these pumps not work or what I'm going to this one this guy's gonna roll forward right away anyway Oh, is this one out of service? Yeah, this one's out of service. That's why nobody was in here. Okay, well, looks like I've got to go around. It's a bit of a tight parking lot. That's why no one wanted to use this one, I see. I don't want to put diesel number one in, that's a lot more expensive. It looked like about a dollar forty more per gallon. If I read that right, it was five fifty a gallon for diesel number one and four dollars ten cents a gallon for diesel number two. Yeah, that's what, a hundred a dollar thirty more per gallon? Yeah, no, I just need diesel number two. It's pretty mild outside. It's not cold enough for diesel number one. It's a lot of extra money. I just bought two drive tires yesterday. I'm still hurting. I gotta buy six more. Eventually, eventually. I might just buy another two of these for now, like I was saying before. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I gotta get all my tires matching. All right, I'm gonna go all the way around. All the way around. It's the price I pay for going to the pump that no one else was using. Turn left and then turn left at 30 meters. The stop sign here for some reason. Okay. Tell me to stop, I'll stop. Dun, 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 dun. I'll try this again. The numbers are in. You all are eager to know how my truck did on fuel, I'm sure. You're going to find out even if you don't care. So the last time I fueled was uh, in Nisku, Alberta, after we unloaded those big steel reels. From there, I drove to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, from Meadow Lake all the way down here to Minot, North Dakota. That was a total of 1,457 kilometers, or... Let me find this out in American speak for you. I have everything else calculated except for this. 1,457 kilometers in miles. 1,457 kilometers is equivalent to 905.338 miles. So 905 miles we drove, we burnt, because we fueled up here in the US, we burnt 143 US gallons, or 541.318 liters. That equaled 37.15 liters per 100 kilometers or 6.33 miles per US gallon, which is over our goal of six US miles per gallon. Costed us $629 US or $844 Canadian. Now just over the border in Saskatchewan, the fuel prices were $2.02 .02 per liter. Here, 
I was looking at the DEF price before. Here, the price of diesel fuel, diesel number two, is $4.40 per liter US. That equals $1.52 per liter Canadian. So just over the border was $2 and, no, it was 2.2029, right? So it's $2.03 per liter. Just over the border, here it's $1.52 per liter. So what's that difference, right? So you go $2.03, subtract $1.52. That's 51 cents per liter savings fueling up here in the US. How many liters did we buy? We bought 541 liters, 0.318. Let's uh, do this correctly. Savings of 51 cents per liter, 541.318. Just fueling here in Minot instead of in uh, Regina or just across the border in Saskatchewan. I saved $276 Canadian. That's how much cheaper the fuel is here in the US right now. 51 cents per liter cheaper for diesel fuel. I wonder what that would be in USD. I know a lot of you, I try to do the American measurements too because over 50% of my audience is American. And I know they don't teach you the metric system in schools down here. So doing my best here to accommodate 276 CAD to USD. Come on. CAD to USD. Okay, it's not going to say it. That's $205.67 United States dollars. So I saved over 200 US dollars down here. So I try to fuel in the US now as much as I can. Obviously, sometimes I still have to fuel in Canada. I can only fuel at certain travel plazas, certain places where my fuel card works. We do get discounts through the fuel cards. That's all worked out in the office back home. Uh, that That's sort of why they take a cut out of my rates. That covers all of their headaches and all of the paperwork they have to deal with to work that out. All the benefits and uh, uh, discounts we get. They, they handle all of that. That's why they take their cut off my rate. And... Uh, they, they do a good job. That's one less headache for me, right? I'm perfectly fine with that. Works out great for me. But anyway, so that's that's the numbers for today. $275. That'll pay for like uh, a third of one of my tires I bought yesterday. <laughs> third. So after six fuel ups here in the US, those two drive tires will have paid for themselves in savings from fueling in the US. So that's not too bad. It makes me feel a little better about it when I say it that way. And you know, those new tires are, are kind of growing on me. You want to see them? I haven't shown you in the light yet. Let's, let's go show you the tires. So these are my old tires. They're Firestone. Uh, they're 295, 75R, 22 and a half. FD692s. And these are the new tires, the Goodyear G182s, RSD. The treads are pretty aggressive. A little more than I would have gone with had I had more of a choice. Probably would have gone with the Fuel Max versions of this. But they're not bad. They will do good for what I do every day, right? In the winter time, really good traction in the snow and off-road if I have to deliver onto the fields next year. It wouldn't have been my first choice, but they did get me rolling yesterday. And, you know, they're not that bad. They're not bad at all. I just want them all to match. Okay, shower is done. I'm all fueled up. Paperwork that I need to do is all done. Let's go to Blue Beacon, wash off the truck, and let's get over to Minnesota. sign that says truck wash this way open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. should be good usually it's a little bit more obvious where the entrance is now we know go around the back here I think there's two trucks in front of me Three, a little 
little pickup truck. Why are you in the big truck? Truck wash, man. You're a little truck. There's like dozens of car washes you could go to. Oh well, maybe because he's got a trailer and feels like he needs to be in here. And now we wait. So three people in front of me. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe a half hour. Old Blue has needed a bath for a long time already, so... Deserves it. And not just a little rinse off like I do at my shop. I mean like a nice, in-depth, scrubby, bubbly bath. It's gonna be good. Whenever my truck gets washed by like other people like this, I always feel like I'm getting like therapy myself just watching it. It's satisfying, right? It's steamy. Let's go get a good look at it because it's not going to stay this clean for long. Much better. Eh? Much better. Now we can get a look at these tires when they're clean. See, these are the new ones. Those are the old. And I've got my one good old one on the back here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy one used tire with about the same tire wear as this one. And this one's still good. And then I'm gonna put those on there. I'm gonna take these two new ones off and save them. Then when all the rest of my tires are actually worn down all the way, I'll still have these and I'll only have to buy six instead of eight. So I'll save these in my shop. I mean, they're a good tire, right? Like, look at that. It's a mean looking tire. Okay, don't have much time to waste. We have to get to our customer and get to sleep so that we can unload at 6 a.m. tomorrow and run on over to Minneapolis where I have a reload, I believe, of shingles that are headed back up to Winnipeg. for hanging out today everybody it was a fun day no flat tires it's a good day I'll see you tomorrow we're gonna get this lumber off my trailer we're gonna go pick up some shingles and head home I'll see you then if you like the video help me out by hitting the like button and if you didn't like it you can help me out by hitting the dislike button twice thanks <laughs>